Hello, very good evening. Today we will learn how you can use Google Scholar to do a very effective and quick literature review. And we search for articles from our within the citation, within articles of articles. So what we do is we use Google Scholar and we search for an article and then use that search result to find more articles very quickly with the, for a particular field. My name is Dr. Shyam Bhatti. If you are for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that bell icon so you receive the notifications of these lectures regularly. Let's begin. Now, once you are in Google Scholar, for example, you search for a term called virtual reality and whatever basic topic you're using. So I'm not going into the terminology of searching. So whatever you are using, whatever topic you need to find, you write that topics and keywords of that particular topic. Okay. So for example, if I'm using virtual reality, what else I would be using is I can write virtual reality that would be my first topic first keyword but in order to do effective literature review you need don't just use one string you can write applications in vr you can write applications in virtual reality so you know that vr is an abbreviation some authors might have used vr uh, more commonly some authors might have used the full form virtual reality so this is basically what you need to understand then you can use virtual reality in uh, industry or you can use a uh, virtual reality or -E reality for everyday use you know okay so i'm i'm looking for latest papers or article references in this regard similarly i can come here and i can say virtual reality in medicine Okay, or if I'm interested in games, for example, or I'm interested in, uh, for example, home uh, use. Okay, so I can write virtual reality in homes, home use apps with virtual reality, uh, VR for home, uh, you know, so, so this base, these are what basically means. So I'm, what I'm trying to do or what I'm trying to say is, when you're searching for a, some papers, do not just use one word or a one phrase. You know, you try to mix it up. You try to put more aspects into it. So I can use application science for virtual reality, home application for virtual reality, virtual reality use in military, or if whatever your basic area is, try to mix and match and use different sequence of words so you can get as many results as possible. So that's, that's the one trick. And that's the one main uh, problem that most young researchers tend to do. When I ask them to find the latest articles in research reality, they tend to use latest articles. Okay. This is a term which would not be in the title. Okay. So when we do searching, basically it tries to match the, the content. And this is some a content that is not song. So not would not be in our article. So if I use latest articles, it's not what basically mean in terms of literal. What I mean to say is find the latest article in virtual reality with respect to time. So use this time parameter to find the latest articles. And then if it is VR, it is not only VR. Find out more history of VR, applications of VR, when was VR started, how VR is being used, the areas, the domains, the VR is being used. And this is where things get more interesting. So try to mix and match the string and you would see that if you use virtual reality, you get this string. But if I go inside Google Scholar again, and if I change applications in virtual reality, for example, if I use this string, oops, control C, I come here, I use here and I find articles. So now see the articles would be different as compared to the articles that I get here. So if I use only virtual reality, the result is different. If I use applications in virtual reality, now the result is completely different. Similarly, I can come back here and I say virtual reality in industry and I have my scholar or website again and I change the terminology now. Now I get a different results altogether. Just by changing one or two words with the virtual reality, now I have completely different set of results. This is what we do when we talk about literature review or finding articles. It's not about just one term. It's how you use that term. Change, mix, match. Find the most likely keywords from that uh, for that particular field. Okay, and this is just top of the marks. And we're still not going inside the articles and finding data and then using that here. This is just like the first thing that you want to do in the research, the first keywords that we find. So we don't just stick with one keyword, try to use, create your own keywords and find out more 
many more more articles once you are done here then what we do is we come inside the article so for example i said latest research this is the year that we use i've talked about this in a previous video i will leave the link down below so for example i said since 2020 okay so this basically means that since last year how many articles have been published regarding virtual reality so i get the latest research so this is the latest research within this latest research there's a feature called cited by now this is a very useful feature that most google scholar users don't tend to use what this cited by means that since 2020 since its publication year 2020 this article has been cited by 14 authors as per google scholar indexing Okay, as per Google Scholar's data, this or this article has been cited by 140 authors. So this basically means that if I click on this systematic review of immersive virtual reality applications for higher education, okay, so this or this VR is for higher education. Its design elements, lessons, learns, and research agenda it has already been cited by 140 authors just in 2020 and 21 already. So I said, ah, this is an, this might be very interesting because all other authors are finding this article very interesting. Okay, and that's why they are citing it. So what I need to do is I need to obviously use this article, but I click on it. So I said, okay, let me just close all these. I have this article, but this cited by, I want to talk about this. This cited by indicates that who are those 140 people who cited this article. So you can find out that not only how many times it has been cited by, but because this is an underline and this is a link, if you click on it, now it tells you that this is the article and it has been sort cited by these 140 author and papers okay so now i know that this article that was being cited has already been cited by that many authors and by these are the authors so i already get this reference now this are the articles that were not in my direct search i might not be able to find these articles when i search them directly by keywords or by searching but by using citation i already have 140 articles that belong to VR and that have used this paper means they are also VR. Okay. <clears throat> Similarly, they can be from any field as well. So I already have an article of 140. So if I'm doing a literature review, just by clicking on one word of virtual reality, just by clicking on one citation count, I already have a list of 140 articles. Just within two clicks, I'm able to use 140 articles Obviously, currently showing me only 10 and next, 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 I can do and I can find all the latest relevant rep papers. The most important thing is it's all they are recent because I'm using 2020. So all these author papers are latest papers. They have cited that article because article was published in 2020. So from 2020, all of them would be using VR or some form of educational or some relevant material already. This is what we do, searching from article to article. Use the citation count. We have not used the reference count yet. So, for example, if I come here, this article has been cited by 14 people. If I go inside its PDF and do a citation count. Now, these are two things. Citation means the paper has been cited by other papers. So this is other papers link. Okay. How many other papers have cited this paper? So, because they have cited it, they probably found this work interesting. They found the area interesting and they are also working in the same area. Okay, in form of VR, AR, and mixed reality. So this, uh, this is the paper here. Okay, so effective uh, effects of virtual reality, of reality. This is the original paper, and this paper is supposed to be good enough. So it has been cited by fourteen different authors already. Right, this one. Now, when I click on cited by, I get a link. So this article also now tells me that who are those fourteen authors or researchers or papers that has cited that. So I can already come here and see digital innovations in supporting helping babies and survive. So this paper has already also cited it. This might be useful for me. This paper might be useful for me. This paper might be useful for me. Similarly, I can look into their author name as well. I can see that when I, maybe I need to find this author exploring virtual reality in higher education and I might need more data, more reference. I'm, this paper is very interesting to my work. Um, I can just click on the author name because it's underlined. This basically means it has uh, what we call Google Scholar profile. So if I click on it, it tells me the full author name. It's a postdoc researcher. He's working in recent uh, Trinity College in Dublin. So I can go inside the college, find the authors and professors in Dublin as well, or I can find the author's homepage as well. So it's like stalking your researcher. You can find more details about his research 
that by going into Google Scholar, by going into his profile, I can click on his homepage. I can look into his all of his publications. I can click on this year tag and sort the article by year and I can see what other article this guy has published in the recent years that might be more interest to me and I can look those articles up. So this is what we mean by doing a literature review, finding articles that are best interest within the same domain. And I just used one string already. I just use a virtual reality. I have one article. I have already 140 article reference from here, 14 from here. I found the researcher, professor. I might find his work very interesting. I might want to contact him. I might need him for a collaboration. I have his website. I can get his email. I can contact him. So it's, it's a way of stalking, but in a research oriented manner, if you understand that. And you can use the references as well. So we talked about if you find this paper interesting, use this double quotation marks. If you find this paper interesting, you can double quotation marks. Use it to copy the citation, paste it in your paper and then use it in whatever format you are using. APA allows us to use the as per name. I We tend to use more IEEE formats. So we just give it a number format in front of APA. We use that. Okay. So this is what basically we mean by searching articles from articles. Use cited by account. Then you get lots of lots of articles. You can use the professor and see what other articles that previously were not in the list might also be available here and I can use it. Okay. Then the third, third, third most interesting way of doing literature review is once you have the article, you scroll down. At the bottom, you get what we call references. Now, these references indicate that all other papers that are relevant, related, or concerned with this particular paper. And that's why the author has cited them. So if I zoom into it a little bit, see this affect the effects of distributed virtual reality. I didn't probably get that in my search, but I have an, another article that I might find interesting. So whenever you're doing literature review, you download an article, you read an article, also look into its references. Go through the article references. That's another very, very key thing I tell my students. What this basically means, you within a very short span of time just from one article to one article to one article i already have a huge data bank of references now i can see well, is this article interesting maybe maybe not if it is i can copy paste from here go into my scholar do a pasting and look into it what this article says if it's interesting fine if it is not just skip it how we do that again just read the four lines of abstract here rather than going into the detail you can leave the four lines of abstract if you find it interesting up till this point, good. If you don't, skip it. You find it interesting, click on the PDF. You can read the PDF. Then it tells you this article has been cited 14 times already. You can look into the citations. You can go inside this article and read its references as well. So again, from article to article to article to article, you find more relevant material. This is what we mean by literature review. Don't only rely on the keyword search result. Keyword search result. That's the one way. And sometimes it's not the very efficient way as well. It won't give you many interesting articles. The interesting articles you would find is you search in a string, you find some good articles, then look into it cited by how many times it's been cited, and then go into the citations and who has cited those articles. Look into that, look into the article, go inside it and read its references. For example, another article I might find a survey of augmented reality, presence, teleporters, and environments. And this might be interesting. I copy the title, but this is 1997. I said, nah, this is too old for me. I don't want it. Let's come back here. This is 2017, 2018. Ah, latest 2018. I can say computerized attenual training and transfer with virtual reality. Uh, effects of agent training. So this might be interesting, but it's a neuropsychological journal name is here. And it means it might be related to psychology or something. It's not interesting, so I can skip it. So even here, I get a good idea of which article I need and which article I not need. This is what we mean by referencing. This is what we mean by searching articles with reference. So I just use one query string. I can already go on in depth and do a lots of searching from this single starting point. And I already have created a library of keywords here. So imagine the amount of data you can get when you do a good literature review. And especially if you apply systematic literature review techniques to find articles specifically so all these articles are there. We just go through two. Okay, and you can see this how many articles I can already see. So it already has a good amount of indexing. I can look into all these articles, latest articles that might be interesting, search them up. When I search them up, 
I have another list of articles, their citation values, who has cited this paper. And then I can go into that citation, find more relevant articles with respect to virtual or augmented reality. I might come across same articles as well. Obviously, it's a sequential thing, but uh, this is what we basically get. So searching from within a searching from within a searching, try to keep it that way. Do not just rely on a linear search. Do adopt a random non-linear search that allows you to find more articles from here and there. This way you get more interesting results rather than just using keyword and the search result. It's, it's, it's never an effective way of finding good articles sometimes, right? You get the best thing, but again, because Google does a ranking system in the search, so you might not get what you're actually looking for, okay? Because this is the result that's Google giving you. It's not what you're looking for exactly. Uh, based on their own Google uh, indexing and ranking algorithm. We all know how these things work. So this is one way of me finding articles. You look into the cited by, open the article up, and look into its references. This is this is the best way of finding more cool article references. Some people don't tend to use it. Some don't prefer it. Everyone has their own aspects. But I tend to do that. I look into the cited by. Cited by gives me the latest pay articles already. So I know if this article is published in 2020, it has been cited by 19. So all other citations would still be latest. Even latest. After its publications, the authors used it, referred it, cited it. So this might be an article in January. The citation would be post January. This article might be in June, for example. Okay, halfway of 2020. These citations would be post June, so they would be even more latest. So, this is why they would be more interesting to me. So, look into this cited by aspect, find articles that are more relevant to you, okay, in a non linear manner. Look into this article, I can go into it cited by. So, if it's, this is again mid of January, mid of 2020, this means this citation would be later on. So I can use this article or whatever might be more appealing for me. So um, similarly, uh, we find their authors, we find their author profiles, we read their data as well, that what other articles this professor is, might be working on. And I might need to contact him and I may need to ask him to collaborate on my research, on my research funding, on my research project, or I might need to apply uh, myself for a master's or a PhD. This is one way basically we hunt for good professors who are publishing uh, on and are active in their research areas okay hopefully this tutorial is useful uh, do let me know in your comments down below how you find it what other things you would like to know or read about and i will be happy to help you out this is dr shan thank you for watching